Seven News starts with a news alert. The Aurora Century Theater reopening tonight. This is a live look at the new theater marquee. Tonight, hundreds of victims and their families invited back nearly six months since the shooting. This afternoon, our cameras allowed inside the building. The lobby and theater completely remodeled. Tonight, Colorado's governor and Aurora's mayor telling everyone the healing starts here. For many here tonight, this is the path to healing and, and part of that process. Um, you know, the ability to, to find light where, where there was darkness. I cannot allow the shooter in any way, shape, or form to win. And after the ceremony, visitors tonight saw the movie The Hobbit. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live at the Aurora Century Theater. And Jacqueline, you were inside during that remembrance ceremony. Yeah, and I saw some people holding each other, crying, some people laughing together. Emotions really running the gamut here tonight. There were about 1,600 tickets given out for this, all people who wanted to go back into the theater where their lives changed forever. I don't really know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting to go in there and burst into tears. For Jansen Young, going back into the Aurora Theater where her boyfriend lost his life while shielding her was harder than she thought it would be. Everything in the movie theater is so different. Every single thing, except for I can still visualize John on the floor. Like right next to me, I can still see him there. That's not very easy either. Not easy, but for many survivors, necessary. Marcus Weaver was shot in the arm that night. I sat in the same seat I sat in on purpose and you know I looked at that screen I looked around and it was the same seat same theater but it was different you know different in the fact that I'm different in the remembrance ceremony Cinemark CEO speaks to victims for the first time calling the shooting random and unpredictable recovery is an ongoing process and we're glad to be with you tonight to acknowledge how far we've come and how far we have yet to go. In a way, just being here is an act of defiance. For some, a way to heal and a way to hope. I'm facing my fears, and I'm not going to let the bad guy win. I'm always going to be connected to this theater and to you know the other victims, but we, we're going to move forward, you know. And this is just part of the process. And Cinemark did about a million dollar remodel inside and victims I tell I talked to say it feels completely different inside. Still, they said after showing their sport here tonight, they probably won't be coming back here to watch another movie. They say it's still just too painful. Reporting live in Aurora, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. And the theater will reopen to the public starting tomorrow. Movies will be shown for free all weekend in what Cinemark calls honoring this special community.